Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Build It Better episode. This is a surprise episode. <laughs> Where the fuck are we? Um, this is the old Build It Better world. Um, actually, hopefully, you probably did recognize it. Um, maybe you didn't. Uh, but I have been working in this world for actually quite a while, um, several months off and on, just trying to restore and fix a lot of the things that, that really got trashed in this world toward the end of last season, last year, um, when I switched over to the 2500, or the 2500, <laughs> that's the name that I call my world when I'm working on it, it's 2500 square city world but anyways the city world that has been in season two um uh this is what it was before that and uh and i had version two of my world uh up for download and all the descriptions this is the world the only thing is is it stops way down there by the mcdonald's and i think the gas station is the last thing in that world save um and i even think the train is way the fuck down here uh, in front of the ships cannot i can't remember we have not had an actual bib world save video in a long 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 time um i have not decided it, it may be titled already or it may be in the description whether or not i'm going to put this up for download right now i may wait until i get the bismarck done and put the bismarck right here the last world save did not have the titanic in it um and I don't even know if it had the Yamato in it, guys. I cannot fucking remember. Um, but I know all this I've been working on. I've, I've changed every bit of this over. And we're going to go over uh, a lot of the changes that I've done in this world. Um, just to keep, keep you guys up to speed on what, you know, all the different things that I'm working on. And just, you know, how busy Jag does stay. <laughs> I'm always bouncing between one world to another world. Um, over to my tutorial world where you know, I'm you know I'm, I'm ripping right now I'm trying to rip the Bismarck apart and trying to figure out how to put that damn thing together for a tutorial for you guys um, then you know I jump over to this world for several days and uh, and completely you know rip things out and redesign it I'm putting in my parking lots right here um, this was all straight sidewalk before um, I don't have any trees or landscaping in yet but I will uh, and of course, all this over here is now a parking lot. This was all treed area before. I uh, didn't like it, uh, so tore it all out and put in a really nice parking area. Really, really happy with that. And I think on the last world save, it stops somewhere, somewhere right in here. I think this is the last little bit that is in that uh, the the last V2. One, was it 162 V2 world save? I believe. Uh, I think we did actually go in on one of the episodes, and I did show you some of the things where I was uh, ripping everything back with MC Edit and World Painter, uh, where I was tearing all this out and getting rid of the trees. Uh, I had a weird cutoff point right here where the wall is from the older part, or you know, the old city, Middleton, and um, right here where it connected into the naval base, which was you know right down there somewhere originally. Uh, so I ripped all that out and I backed it up to right here. Uh, is what I is what I want to do. And like I said, if I don't have a world save yet, guys, um, I will. There's 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 a lot of things that I want to try to get done first. Um, I do want to extend a road right along this tree line um, and probably make it turn a little bit and make a four lane. Um, so it, it's it's just outside of the the main base over here, and somehow some way. <clears throat> putting in uh, a pedestrian overpass right here and making that wall flow somehow into the base because I don't want to um, obviously I'm not gonna like rip any more out uh, it's it's a really awesome design this has a lot of uh, I guess sentimental value and value to the build it better se uh, series and the season because this is where it all started I've just got to figure out how to tie this area in with the other area um, you know I didn't have a lot of the tools that I have now when I first started this series so things didn't quite get planned out the way they should have or I would have had a lot more room 
uh, in between the different builds. Uh, so all, all this is all ripped out now. This was all jungle biome, a bunch of nasty jungle hairy shit. I got rid of all that, all the ponds, flattened it all out. Um, that way I've got room to tie things in with other buildings. And I even think there's some leftover mushrooms right there from the biome. Uh, and then extended the road down this way behind the main jail. Again, apologize if I have showed this in, a, in another video. But uh, if you haven't seen it, well, here you go. <laughs> um, so there's the, the jail, the jailhouse, the jailhouse building. The Chits building still loading up. Um, the other fire department, which, uh, yes, I still do plan on doing a tutorial for, guys. Uh, like I said, just a lot, a lot of different things going on. Uh, I can't stop long enough to uh, to put things together like I want to in and, and, and one shot. I just I jump all over the fucking place. Um, but, yeah, that's you should recognize a, a lot of this stuff in the new city world because it's ripped straight from, from this world here. Uh, but anyways, this got pushed way back now. Uh, there was a bunch of, uh, again, jungles and mountains and shit. This is flat. It goes way the hell out. I use World Painter to push that way the hell out uh, for eventually, uh, you know, if I had continued in this world. And you never know. I still may because I'm still building in this world, um, working everything out that way, more of the city. Um, so this gate is a lot closer than it originally was. And yes, this de this this definitely has some fucking lighting issues. So this is the sub uh, the uh, the sub not the sub yeah the sub bay is on the other side and then the dry dock is, of course is on this side. And is this a serious lighting glitch? Yeah, serious fucking light issues um, from this world now. So I don't know. Uh, I I thought maybe putting it up in um, the higher versions of Minecraft would take care of this, and apparently it hasn't. So, I don't know. Again, that's there's just a lot of weird issues with this world. Uh, one of the reasons why I stopped building in this world uh, for public release anyways. Obviously, still working in it. Um, moved the Typhoon, the original Typhoon, down to that uh, dock area. Got my patrol boat in. And, of course, the original area with the Ohio and the second version of um, my Typhoon. The dock area, I, I believe I went through all the different dock areas. I kind of, I, I vaguely remember doing that now, showing the different um, crane setups and stuff. Again, I'll just drop down. I'm right here. I might as well show you real quick, um, even if I already have. Um, just some different different ideas for laying out on your docks. Um, different boxes, different crates, um, different cranes. We had some more crane, crane designs. Again, I, I do vaguely remember doing this several months back, doing a fly-through. Uh, showing a lot of this stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and fly through real quick and show you again uh, some of the other big updated parts of this map that I've been working on I've been putting a lot of fucking time into is the airstrip uh, the military airfield that you know I have made several comments about in the past um, Anderson Air Force Base you know putting in that doing something with all the planes uh, I have been doing that in this world um, and not on the brand new 10k map because um, it's really really fucking big um, I, I like that it's it's out of scale on this map and and I'm flying that way we'll get to it as I fucking ramble or I'll just edit some of this out as I fly through um, but I like that the, uh, the the military air base that I'm putting in on this map even though it's out of scale because of the render distance, still makes it feel very, very large, um, and and it works, and it works, and it works very well. On the 10K map, if I put it in one one scale, it's yes, it's it's real life scale, but there's there's so much fucking area there that I will never ever ever probably get filled the way that it needs to be filled up. Um, so that's why I'm still building in this world, and I'm still trying to figure out. <laughs> what I want to do. Jag's always, I'm always thinking, guys, you you know me, my brain is always going 50 miles an hour, maybe 100 miles an hour, and just trying to figure out different things uh, to show you different ideas, and I, and I never work on the same thing for more than probably a couple days, and I'm, and I'm on to something else. 
But anyways, I'll probably cut this next part out. I'm just, I'm rambling like a motherfucker right now, so. All right, we finally made it down to the uh, Air Force base as it's still slowly loading in the background. I extended my render distance way out to try to get a better feel of just how massive uh, this the, the airstrip and stuff is. Uh, originally, in the last, I, I think the last World Save might have had the construction vehicles were, were sitting right down here to my right, and I'm not going to move because uh, the mountain there in the back is kind of rendering out, and I, and I really want to show that uh, because that was in... Uh, originally, everything that you're looking at in front of me was all swamp area. Uh, I had a Season 2 premiere video back uh, last year where at the very end of the video, I was flying out, and you could see the construction ve vehicles heading towards this air base. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like they were getting ready to head to this base and start building it. Um, so that's what this whole area is. If you go back and look at that video, you can just you can see just how much of this this area has been completely changed. This whole world's been completely fucking changed. Um, but anyways, uh, the the railroad crossing here, and then uh, our uh, our big plain area down here next to the mountain. All right, so I paused again just to let a little bit more load. And uh, anyways, this is the you know the C5 kind of area. I don't have. I'm not going to put hangar bays. This is more. They don't. They don't put these in hangars. Uh, they have them out on the the flight deck or the flight uh, the flight line. They've got their own parking areas. So I got all this all this done now. I'll probably put in some maintenance buildings, some maintenance shops further down the line. Uh, I had to figure out how to do all the different painting uh, stripes for the different lines. Of course, they're three wide. Um, just. The airfield are is like all right for your highways. We use one stripe, you know, on, on each side of the road and one down the middle. Uh, for your airfields, I suggest always uh, go bigger. Go uh, go bigger. Your planes are are huge, um, especially if you're building my C5s, my C17s, and all that. Um, make your stripes make your stripes bigger if you can. I think it, it gives a much better feel uh, of scale to your airfield. Um, so I went three wide with mine. And of course I used uh, MC Edit to figure out my my circles going out this way. And then all I did was just double that up. Um, and, I th and I think that turned out really, really nice. Um, you can use uh, a lot of different circle guides, circle patterns. Um, there's a, a, a fucking uh, a site on somewhere online. I can't remember the name of it now. Shit. Where you can do all kinds of domes and circles and shit like that. And if I can remember to find it, a plots. Um, that's what it is. Plots.com. P-L-O-T-Z, I believe is what it is. Um, you can do super huge fucking circles and radiuses. Um, which will make it a lot easier for all you console users. Um, or PC users that, that don't have the MC edit and shit like that. Um, to figure out all your you know your different radiuses and, and usually is what i do the, the easiest way to figure out a radius is you've got to have some sort of a center point um so like let's say like right here on the corner and then you're going to want to count your blocks out to where you want your radius to start so like the middle of this one right here is the center of this aircraft so i'm going to count the blocks between this block and that block and i'm going to get a radius Obviously, if you double it, you'll get a diameter. Um, so you just plug that into your plots, and then you just take a quadrant or a section of that circle, and you start to build it you know, from one point to the other because it should be exactly the same block. So if this was you know, 32 blocks or whatever, then you're going to count out exactly 32 blocks to the middle of this one right here, you know, right there. So whatever the distance is between that block and this block should be exactly the same distance between this block and the center of that aisle. That way your quadrant is perfect. And this is the, the, the exact center of your circle. Again, try to use odd circles, guys. Evens just don't fucking work. Um, otherwise, you'll have a four-block center like this. And it still works. It's just more difficult to use. Um, my striping on the side, I'm using two wide. Give it a really nice, thick kind of feel. And I've got to do a little bit more biome <clears throat> adjusting there on the side. Uh, and this is all 
all the custom trees and custom landscaping that I was doing in World Painter uh, just as I was designing the new 10k map um, I was still working in this map trying to figure out how in the hell to make all this work um, and it's it's actually it's working <laughs> it's working pretty good uh, so we got down to here and I'm slowly getting there again mods are not updating and they probably fucking won't um, I will probably never get my fucking speed mod back um, I don't know anyways but I decided to put in an underpass here uh, and go underneath the flight line which I thought was a really really sweet idea uh, originally this road went all the way across and that's what cut down a lot of the area for the main runway the the runway was going to end right about here and originally it just it didn't feel like it was long enough or or big enough to support the c5s and the c17s uh, so is what i did is is i took threw this into world painter and I, and i pushed all this property all this uh, all this area uh, i pushed it down towards the uh the space shuttle which is down here opened all this up too this was a huge pain in the ass Again, it was all swamplands. It was all jungles. Um, very, very difficult to to make those kinds of changes in a world painter and an MC edit. Um, I got a lot of different, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of different world glitches and a lot of different world problems uh, trying to get this area to to look the way that it does. So I've got a lot, a lot of work just in this area alone and I've got my blackbird I moved him uh, he was over there somewhere and I've got it moved here to the end of the runway like it's taking off and again because of the you know the massive size of this uh, flight line it's, it's taken a little while to render out um, even on my computer but I'll try to fly around and give you a little bit better idea of just just how much space I did actually accomplish getting out of this area um, here's the edge of the jungle um, just on the other side of this is the space shuttle. Um, if I can kind of fly over there, might be able to pick up a piece of it. Let's see how close we are. Uh, I didn't want to get too close. Let's see. Should be right. <laughs> you guys are like, Jag, uh, you're like really, really slow today, dude. <laughs> there it is. All right, so this is the corner here coming out. It's, it's rendering. I'm, obviously, I'm not going to fucking wait for that to render out. Um, and the space shuttle sits over there. So uh, got plenty of room uh, for the planes to take off and kind of feel realistically like they could take off without smashing into the space shuttle. <laughs> that was the other problem, trying to think, well, if this was too close, if the planes were actually taking off, would they actually you know, mow the fucking trees down and the space shuttle or what? So I, I don't know. I think, it, I think it turned out good. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, just finished up all the striping. Uh, just a few days ago uh, and got all that laid out I'm still not sure if I want to put in the dead zones at the end of the runways um, if you notice if you pull up a lot of images on air airports airfields and stuff like that airstrips at the very end there's a dead zone um, basically if they come in too low they can still land there obviously but there's different striping going across it and I'm not sure with this uh, the thickness that I'm using for the paint stripes if that will quite work out the way that I'm thinking it will, I uh, haven't got a chance to really mess around with that yet, so I'm not sure. Um, and, you you know, some of your striping ends up being kind of weird, you know, when you get really, really big circles um, and you start going like two, three, four wide. Um, but it still looks good. I mean, it still, it still re you know, retains, um, you know, the, the, the shape that we're going for. And then here on the other side, this is obviously where the, uh, the tunnel comes out. I'll probably put a lot of parking over here, uh, a lot of your main <clears throat> your main admin type buildings. Uh, still got to put in some hangar bays, some more flight line type uh, areas for hangars, parking areas for a lot of the smaller birds, the you know the F-14s, the fighters, the F-22s, and stuff like that will probably be down in here. Some may end up being in the middle between the airstrips. Uh, I know at Anderson Air Force Base, um, obviously I don't have the space. From the one one scale here that I, you know that I would have on the bigger map, if I put that in the middle, 
uh, Anderson Air Force Base actually has a flight line right down the middle where they park a lot of the C-17s, a lot of the C-5s, a lot of the fighter jets and stuff like that. Um, and they do, you know, flight line maintenance in between the two airstrips. Um, but I did end up getting the overall feel of Anderson Air Force Base with this using the two main runways, uh, this one here and then that one over here. This one being a little bit slightly longer than this one. And again, I'm not going to fly down to the far end, uh, probably just because it's, again, just, it's taking forever to render out, and I don't have my uh, single-player commands to, to fly through this really, really fast. And uh, and I'm just not fucking with it. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, then we have a return flight line over here so that the birds can come in this way. They can go down to the end of the other runway where we, where we just were and take off in that direction if the wind is the right way. Or they can cross over, spin back around, and take off this way. Same thing down there. It pretty much connects in at the end of the runway just like this, except it doesn't extend past. It just goes straight across, and it has, you know, two loops back into the main runway. Um, so anyways, and then this will go out the other side, and there will be some more parking lots over to the, uh, the Space Command Center. Uh, always wanted to figure out how to connect that. Now I have a pretty good idea and, and a lot of, a lot of real estate to work with uh, again this that was all desert had to change all that over and uh, and the custom trees and the custom mountains uh, really set this this area off very very nicely it makes it just feel like everything's nestled right down in and again uh, it's it, it's hard to really get the the feel of this guys and I'm sorry if I wasn't recording right now and I just sat here and let this load up for about 10 or 15 minutes um, and you can see way, way out here, and especially with the Optifine options that I don't have um, right now. Uh, I, I can't get the full render distance like I normally do in most of my videos. Um, but this looks really, really, really fucking impressive, uh, you know, once you can get it rendered out uh, as far as it'll go. But anyways, again, not sure if I'll do a world update yet, guys, on this because there's just, there's still... still uh, a lot of things that I, I want to do first um, and then make a, you know, a, a big fucking download. Holy shit, you know, here it is, you know, with all the changes and stuff. Um, again, not sure. I'm probably just babbling here. There may be a link in the description. I don't know. If there's not, I'm sorry. On the next update video in the next month or two, uh, I will do I will do a world a world update video. Anyways, just wanted to show you guys everything that I've been working on. Um in all my different worlds so I just got done recording my other my big city uh, build it better season 2 area with the monorails and all that kind of stuff and everything that I'm working on over in that section um, now we got everything that I'm working on here the you know the Bismarck just came out it's just been a really 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 busy year and a really busy season so far um, you know, and I keep getting a lot of a lot of requests for a lot of different things. And I, you know, the biggest thing is that I don't have time. I don't have time. Um, just wanted to show you why uh, I don't have time for for certain builds um, because I'm I'm working on so many different things right now that are very very time consuming, but are turning out very very awesome and should give everybody a lot of really cool ideas and a lot of different different ways to go in their world instead of making these you know these small ass airfields with these big ass planes and you know the runways that are you know 200 blocks long that just they don't feel they don't feel realistic um and i and i and i know that's hard to do in a, in a normal world without special tools uh like world edit and mc edit and you know things like that but on, on a on a flat world it's, it's definitely doable <clears throat> and uh and, and you know you can make it feel a lot more a lot more realistic um, so again that's where the build it better season or build it better series videos are going is we get in here we dive in I show you everything that I've been working on we talk about different aspects of, um, of how to design things how to put things together how to make them feel even better than than you know what you might have thought or again just spark different ideas in general on things to do in your world and, and hopefully that's that's what we're doing uh, with with all these videos so that is that is it for the 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 old bib world update <laughs> new version whatever you want to call it with the airfield um again i hope you guys like it and i'll leave, leave me some comments like you always do and uh, and let me know 
Uh, anything else you'd like to see or scream for the download because I haven't put it in the description. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, like always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And remember, if it looks like shit, tear it down, blow it up, or just build it better. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.